Hi, I'm Brian, and you're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm at the Ralph Foster Museum in uh, the Branson. Let's go check it out I'm on school campus. <laughs> So they don't mess around. Right when you come in, it's a Beverly Hillbillies car. So who out there can sing me the lyrics? <laughs> if the music's playing, I might be able to. So this right here is the Beverly Hillbillies vehicle. Thinking it was set used and everything. So it's right here, it's the original truck. And it was a oh, 21 Rosemobile. Learn something new every day. Pretty cool. Seen my fair share of episodes, that is for sure. Do a little walk around. Granny spot on top there. Hmm. It's pretty cool. I go wider, but I don't know. Hopefully you can still see it pretty good. Let's go back to normal. Pretty cool. That was the main reason I wanted to come here. Because I heard vehicle. Their vehicle was here. I thought, I gotta go check that out. So this museum is pretty big. It's three floors. Looks like they have a variety of things. Ah, the old dental dentist office. It's frightening nowadays. Can you imagine back then? This found me another car. It's not a car museum, but it's 31 rolls. Wow. Oh. Is Margaret Thatcher's vehicle or is it just her uh, visiting the car? Hmm, cool. A little pocket watch collection. American Watch Company. Here's a question for you. Have you ever in your life used a pocket watch? As a kid, I did actually. <laughs> Quite a variety of things here. But what in the world is this? Some sort of time clock or? It is a time clock. Huh. So wait a minute, is there a... Oh, using an Anheuser-Busch company. So I gotta drive four hours to see something that's right in my neighborhood? <laughs> a little quarter scale uh, circus. Nice. I'm in Branson, so. American Steel Guitar. Cool. Bro Bradley. Hi. Well, there's Bradley and Elvis. Spec Roots. Hmm. 
can't say I remember him. But I probably have seen him. Oregon from the 1900s. Okay. So Ralph Foster got started in 29. And St. Joseph, Missouri. Oh. In Springfield in 32. This is his office. Yes. I guess he was a hunter. Now let's go upstairs. Can you imagine being this close? That was an actual living, breathing bear. There's a lot of stuff behind glass, so it's kind of hard to film that. Right, there's some cool stuff here. Very cool. Our trips is that we did, we did have ceremonies for those who didn't make it out of the camps and for the soldiers. The humility that came out of it and just... This is a World the, War II. To really live out the kind of lives that those men had lived out serving others and um, laying aside their own wants and desires so that they could go and serve hmm. it just men. Tell you, weapons have come a long ways. It's a Gatling gun. I'll get a little closer for you. Well, I don't know if that's close enough to read. And this is the automatic weapons of the world. Whoa. That's... I don't think I've seen one of those. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, this is Buffalo Bill section. And Annie Oakley. Frontier saddle. Some sort of showmanship saddle of some sort. Hmm. Something new. 
the dead animal section. appears to be alive. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Okay, calm down. I knew it was going, I knew there was noise, but it still got me. You see the camera shake? <laughs> All right, well this guy's much more mellow. Let's go check him out. Hey buddy, how's it going? Did that lion scare you? Well, actually, I guess it was a, hmm. You're not scared? I guess you've heard that a few times. Well, you must not be scared. Because right next to you. Really? Are you sure you want to stick around? It looks a little hungry. Not worried? Okay. Okay, third floor. Oh. <laughs> I like it. There's a moose. Man, mooses are big. Well, I knew that, but right next to one. How's it going? Still no talking? <laughs> I look pretty small next to this moose. Uh, I think I missed a spot later, so we will after we get down with third floor, let's see if I can find that location. It looks pretty neat so far. The buffalo actually looks small in comparison to that moose. Hmm. Oh, the American bison. It's so weird that they call them bisons and buffalo. So yeah, I'm on a on school campus. Apparently I went back to college. <sighs> the wizard. <laughs> I got some wise cracks, but I think I'll keep them to myself for now. Hmm. Red Road Mandalia. That's right up my alley.
This is a circular sock machine. Also represent rustic living in the Ozarks. Mm, nice comfy bed. Bigger tub of lard. Oh wait. In case the other one's not big enough. And oven. Do we short? Hmm. That would be his desk. Hmm. I have zero knowledge of that. I somehow missed this section on the way in. So uh, let's go check it out. I got some old quilts up here. Old singer song machine. It's a fancy model. Someone had the whole thing chromed. Hmm. I can't say quilts or something I'm super fascinated with. to keep you warm at night. Some more Singer sewing so machines. This one's a fancy model. Must be a commercial. Hmm. Well, that was definitely commercial. I feel like it was made for some specific purpose. Hmm. Well, apparently, as long as I keep my flash off, I'm good to go. I don't like using a flash anyhow. Look at this. This is a scroll saw. And when the power goes out, that's not a problem. <laughs> Wait, there's a room here. Is there a room? Does the light come on? Or does it stay dark? Ah, light come on. Cabin. Oh, I tell you, that's a rough way to sleep. <laughs> I was going to change my mind, but no. You know, I was at cabin. A little big fire. That's kind of neat. Pretty cool. So these iron tires were made for here in Springfield. Well, Springfield's a little bit north of here. Some vintage tractors. Some Moline. Hmm. Looks real totally different than I used to. Hmm. I've seen this style. It's an international. Oops. 
steam tractors are cool. Usually they're not that shiny. I made it in Huron, Michigan. Well, they used it up to 1976. Hmm. Oh. This is cool. The attachment on it makes those grooves. It. That museum is pretty nice. I would definitely come by if you're in Branson. And that's probably the most reasonably priced thing I'm going to do today. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm like an old schoolhouse out here.